This training effectively replicated a combat scenario. One, because of the adversity and the austerity, the poor weather conditions, uh, as well as the, the ever-changing environment. Marines were on the move for 96 to 120 hours and uh, reacting to changes in the situation, making decisions, meeting commander's intent. That's gonna be omnipresent wherever you go in a combat environment. Now our objective of this uh, Sinka exercise is to demonstrate how strong we are. I think uh, this Sinka exercise provides us a very uh, great opportunity uh, to fight against each other. Between uh, a US Marine Corps, obviously uh, strongest and the finest uh, military in the world and our op war. So that was again a great experience. Our soldiers and your Marines are fighting very, very seriously, and that was so uh, competitive. And as a result, uh, we are uh, reaching a very best outcome ever. Working with the Japanese was probably the most unique experience that we've had. And it was it was very humbling to be accepted into their exercise with the Fuji Training Center, uh, as well as the as the mechanized battalion that are a bunch of true professionals. I think Japan has a newfound respect for what we offer as a light infantry force in the Marine Corps. We have a newfound respect for the professionalism of the Japanese, their dedication to the details, how meticulous they are. Um, these things are going to be very important for us going forward to be a true partner in, a, in an area of shared interest. Uh, the Marines forged bonds with the Japanese. In, the, in their off time, they were always with the Japanese. So the training was just a, a forcing function to build a bond with a partnered force. It's gonna be very important for us in the future. I think the Marines acquitted themselves very well. The takeaways are Marines that are hard to find or hard to kill. Marines that can make decisions in the absence of commander's presence, very lethal. They're hard to kill, they're lethal, they're going to win.